were you? Oh, this dude. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm there, Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. Bro, he was talking, dude. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of bro you said this dude said that the last time and guess what happened bro lenny got killed like i'm not letting that go bro lenny got killed dude like i'm i'm not I'm not hearing what you're saying like he was literally the only i keep saying this but like he was the only black person on the squad and he dies you said that last mission bro you said that the last score and almost like two or three people died. Come on, dude. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Not at all. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? No, sure. dude. What Fine. the? Me for interrupting. Hey, yo. What's going on? Hello. Hello. Dutch. Hello. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we. Uh, Tended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How she was about to pull out the well, shoe. Well, I am sorry to hear my that. Fault, my fault, my fault. Your father. father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar. And a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Yo, Arthur, every time I see your face, you look like a zombie from Zombieland, bro. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially now, Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us, but I an army to the list. Going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. <laughs> what will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. You just have to trust me. Nope, nope, no. Get your shotgun. Because you don't know what's going to pop off, bro. Yep. Yep. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Alright, 
Let's head out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. What do they want me to do? Uh, do I just start blasting? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. What the hell? Jeb, we got a problem here. Huh? I'll let the, the horses out. Ooh. Uh take him out. Take him out. What is happening? Please turn the. Oh gosh. Take it back. What's up? Oh my gosh. Okay. This worked. Okay. You seem to be going pretty fast, Dutch. I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Hold on. Nice. Good, good, what um, is driving. Look at this man. The boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Boss, get him out of here! Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. What do you want me to do? Whoa! Oh, okay. Why are you tired? How are you tired? Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... W oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combs. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll I thought we just killed him. For you. I don't 
no, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Captain. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? <sighs> yes, boo. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behaviors. He's weird, bro. <laughs> Thank you for that.